Hi everybody, today is auction day. Let's see what we can find. Today we're heading out to Hopkins, Michigan, where I used to live. So that'll be really fun to go back in time. Let's see what we can find. Look at this adorable doll. Isn't that she cute? So this is what I would call like a mop doll. It has like this mop texture. I would also use the keyword rag because it's got all these little pieces in here. This is a homemade doll and nobody wanted it so I got it for a dollar and that was fun. They dyed it to kind of look old. It's interesting. Very interesting. Um, these sell for quite a bit online, so she's all listed. Cuteness, cuteness. Here is a, I can't remember what the name is, but I'll post it up there. I just want to say, um, do some research. Look on the bottom. So if you see here, there is a name and a mark. So I would make sure to look there. Make sure to look on the bottom for the marks. I noticed on eBay there was not one person that had that right and there's some of these for sale however they had pyrex you just gotta look for the marks it's really really important because this was so much more this was worth so much more being the name brand that it is than pyrex but i'll show you what happened so this was in it which um, here is a different label on the bottom and you know i think that's you know pretty old there and then here is another piece. So this is how I got this. And it came in a lot. And the lot was like a dollar. And it was full of... None of these match. So this is just like a marriage of different things. <laughs> I'm going to donate this piece. It's got a little crack there. So I don't think this is worth much. I would assume it's, you know, it's got some crazing. Um, it's probably been put in the dishwasher, as you can see from the staining here. The crazing a lot of times the dishwasher will cause that so um, I haven't washed this piece because I'm gonna either get rid of it or just put plants in it and I think I'm just gonna put some succulents in it and I'm sure they'll all die <laughs> so I just want to make sure to show you to always look in the bottom look for those marks it's really really important don't just do a Google lens and assume that you know everyone else is right don't just look on eBay and assume Okay, so here I bought this, and this was considered a box. So I paid $35 for this, and really there's not much in there if you look around. Um, I haven't cleaned this or really looked at much. Um, these still have oil in them. It's super dirty. Keys fell for pretty well, and this is a super bowl, so that should be pretty good. So the reason I bought this is not only because I love to go through like the little junky stuff. You know, that's cute. Um, keys, skeleton keys sell pretty well too. Um, this came out of an old farmhouse, so it's pretty neat. So I guess nobody had touched this stuff for, I think, 30 years or something. It was a long time. Um, this actually wasn't in it. This came in a lot for $5 on the shelf. So somebody must have been playing with that, but that one wasn't included. So the reason I bought this and paid $35 is because of these belt buckles. Now, I have gotten no less than $100 for belt buckles. They sell super well. This one's made in the USA. Look how pretty that is. I don't, I don't know why, but I love selling belt buckles. I really do. This has got some oil on it, so it's all got to be cleaned. Operating engineer. Isn't that cool? Oh. Oh, okay. Cowboys. Okay. <laughs> I just realized what that says. Woo! Solid brass. Real nice. I love it. So I'll probably go through this later and um, do a video on it. Dig through it a little bit more. See what the markings say. So this one was 
Okay, so here are some things I've already listed. So I'm just going to show you, and I'm going to quick put them away as um, before I show you more. But these are cool. Look at this. It's like an adjustable colander. I figured that's what it was when I seen it, but I just looked it up just to make sure. But look at how cool that is. I would never want one of these. <laughs> they are interesting, and they're like a chrome. They're they're really pretty, aren't they? I guess you could put some lettuce on it and maybe spin it. I'm not sure. But it is interesting. Very neat. Um, these are something that sell really well. This is a kitchen clock. And it's just a little timer. Um, you know, I did clean it up a little bit. It needs some more cleaning. Um, I did note that in there. This is like a mid-century modern baker's rack. Um, like a casserole dish would go in here. Or even the other one. And it would just kind of sit in here like this so so that the table won't get burnt. Um, some people call this a trivet. I don't think that's actually a trivet. So I listed this one too and I thought this was really interesting. It's got like wood feet and like a brass tone. Really neat. Okay, so here is like, I think this is a cookie press pieces. This is really heavy. Okay, so I would probably take these and sell them together. Okay, so I think this is a cookie press. I think. That's neat. I actually don't have anything like that. That's that's interesting. I'll have to actually ask my daughter if she wants um, any kind of baking stuff because she's actually a professional baker, which is cool. I say that's cool, but it's really not because I try not to eat that stuff. <laughs> I bought a couple um, boxes that were like a dollar of content type things was I think five dollars. Here's a really old vintage sifter. Isn't that cool? This is Bromwell's measuring made in the USA measuring sifter. Now these kind of things sell pretty well. It's got a wood handle and you know any of this vintage stuff even if you put it at local auction makes quite a bit. So if you put it in a lot um, online it does pretty well too. So um, this is a double boiler with a lid. This is that enamelware. I love enamelware. Isn't that cool? It's like a black enamel with splatters. So I thought that was interesting. I think this is like 40s or 50s. I'm thinking it might be metal with an enamel coating. You know, it's just neat with the design and the metal enamelware. This is something that would also sell well. Okay, so here are some oil lanterns. These are old, but one is not. And I might not have the correct lens on them. And now that I've actually listed them and learned more, which I love learning, but one of them's an imposter. So I didn't quite get these lids on the right ones. So I think this one here, so this is more of a Greek revival and that's about 1960s there. I would say it's got that pattern. Actually, I think this lid actually goes on this one. This one's over 100 years old. And I'll have to put a comp because I did list this one. These are actually worth quite a bit of money. So keep your eye out. I paid $5 for this lot. It came with other things too. This was in a close box that I had previously looked through before the auction. And I, I try to kind of peek as much as I can at those auctions. So I kind of can see what's going on um, before, you know, you get to those boxes because some of the boxes are closed, they're taped or whatever, or there's just a lot of them. So I knew that these were in one of the boxes that were closed up and, and they were all wrapped in newspapers. This one's also very old, over 100 years old. It looked like it had said Waterford Manufacturing on it. This one would probably be supposed to go on this one or vice versa. Um, for sure, this one goes on that one. Um, if I have time or feel like it, I might go back and just kind of redo those. Um, if you look here, though, you should find the name. So if you zoom in like that, that will show you the name. And I tried to pull all the names as much as I could off there. And that will tell you the not only what the name brand is, but a lot of times kind of that time period too. I mean, you have to be really careful when you ship these. I would definitely double box these and then send them. Um, this I would definitely box separately. You could wrap them in cardboard also 
um, tape them really good, bubble wrap, and, you know, put in another box. But I would definitely, like, double box these as well as you can because they used to make things so well, you know, back a 100 years ago, and these are still surviving from the farmhouse. So you can tell that these are thick, where this, like, 1960s version, or it could even be a replacement, is it's very thin. So here's a bit of cutter quilts. Um, it does have some issues, so I might put this one back at auction. I thought this would be really cool to hang over the banister. I might still do that. This is definitely an older piece. It's all hand-stitched, as you can see here. So when they're uneven like this, this is not a machine that actually stitched all this. This is actually hand-sewn. Um, as you can see, um, some people had cut pieces off. <laughs> I didn't actually know that when it was sitting there. I thought this was like a whole quilt. Um, I think somebody probably wanted like a memory, just a, like a little piece and not the whole quilt. I'm assuming maybe it was like their grandparents or something. So, okay, so here's a couple more things. Here's another one of those strainers. Um, this was just in one of those kitchen lots and um, I'm definitely going to sell this. Here is another, another vintage strainer. So this is a meat grinder and this is Climax. You put... Oh, this is heavy. Put the meat in there. I've heard some stories about these things. Oh, yeah. You probably don't even want to know these weird stories I've heard about these. And here's a chopper with a grater. So that's neat, and all this stuff will definitely sell. So yeah, that'll be fun. I'm going to sell this too. Hey, and then I want a very dirty trolley, and I need to clean this up yet. Um, these went for quite a bit of money, and I was comping it as I was walking that way as other things were selling. And this needs a massive cleaning. And this came with a John Deere tractor. I won them both for $5. Okay, so this came in the auction with the quilts. And this I thought was really cool looking. And so that's why I had paid $20. I thought, oh, this would be cool to sell. Um, as you can see, it kind of looks like a candle holder. Some people are listing it as a candle holder. But if you look at it closer, there's something here. There's a little piece here. This is definitely a wall sconce. Um, it's missing some pieces there, but that's what this is for. So I guess typically, so people would actually put those lanterns that I just showed you in here. So this actually goes like this. Isn't that cool? It's like the coolest thing ever. The kerosene lanterns would sit on the wall and this would be the lights that would light up the farmhouse. And so I thought it was cool that I have the original lanterns. I have part of the wall sconce. Not all of it, unfortunately, but isn't that neat? I think this would be so cool to display in your house. And you can actually use these nowadays also. There's nothing wrong with that, having a little kerosene burner on the wall. This would look so cool at like dinner parties having people over went it. Okay, so the funny thing was with this box, like I said, I'd previously kind of snuck peeks in these boxes before the auction went on. And I seen that this was in here and people thought this was just a bunch of garbage in this box. So, but I knew, like, I love this color. I might keep this one for myself because I, I love that minty color. A cheese knife. And then these are enamel bowls. The auctioneer helper um, kind of looked at me when I bid $5 and these boxes would have went down to a dollar, which I probably would have gotten them. She looked at me and she's like, why are you bidding on this? And I said, oh, I like the bowl on the bottom. And so I, I was the only bidder, but um, I just didn't want to miss it and I didn't want it to go way up either. So I figured I would bid $5 and everybody would just be done and be quiet. So that's what I got it for. So... I will probably keep these for myself. Um, as you can see, I kind of like those colors, and I have these colors kind of in my home. So I'm going to enjoy these and put some little flowers in there, and I might display this one for a while. Sometimes I keep things, and then I resell them after a while. Now, how adorable is this little recipe can? This is a Betty Cracker, and let's see what's in here. Ooh, some goodies. I haven't even looked in here yet, so... Yeah, there's some um, recipe cards. I love vintage like cooking stuff like this. Interesting. Um, and there's a couple more things in here. It looks like somebody was collecting. And how fun. I love taking vintage recipes and trying them out. 
um, they're usually full of like lard or um, you know butter based or something and you can kind of try to um, make them your own too but yeah I think it's kind of fun to try out some new stuff um, I might sell this on eBay I know I've seen them like this sell for 40 some dollars before. I don't know what they're going for nowadays. That was a few years back. I don't think this is real super old or anything, but this is probably definitely vintage. Look at how adorable this is. If you grew up in like the 70s or the 80s, you've probably seen one of these. Um, I think that's how old it is. Let's see here if it says. 1989 so it does have the name and then the date which is really nice but look at how cute this vintage tray is with the little kids and this is a metal tray how adorable this is actually really detailed now that I'm looking at it like this super super cute so this is going on eBay oh and actually now that I look at it here is a name so William Shimmer, and he was the designer of that. How cool. Here's a cast iron bottle opener, and it looks like it's called Star, made in the USA. Yeah, so this hangs on the wall like this, and you just open your bottle underneath there. So this is definitely an old piece, and I'll sell that. Here's another vintage enamel wear pot. I love these. So I'll be selling that on eBay. I think I already cleaned this one up. Looks like so. Getting ready to list that one. Tea kettle for camping. But they did a really good job like replicating like the old fashioned style with Cabela's. And so I'll be listing this little guy on eBay. I'm just not going to count these, and if they're not worth selling, I'm just going to put them in that kitchen lot and get rid of them. Hopefully you take something away from this video and learn something new. Let me know how you've been doing as you're finding stuff for eBay or just watching these kind of videos. So I'd love to hear from you, and I'll see you next time for some great finds. Thanks for joining, everybody. Have a great day. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a message. Uh -huh.